District is Joe Collins. He's a U.S. Navy veteran. This guy is the real deal. Uh, and I believe he is sitting now with Matt Locke in Florida. We're going to toss it back over to Matt with Joe Collins. Well, thank you, Dave. Yeah, we're here on site at Trump Doral for the conference. I'm sitting here with Joe Collins, veteran. And thank you, by the way. And every Friday I wear red. <laughs> Remember, everybody deployed. Yeah. And that, that's my deal. So love, love, love the veterans. But Joe, yes. you're running against Mad Maxine Waters. This is true. Are, 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 are you looking for some punishment or what, what are you looking to do? Uh, I'm looking to rebuild the district. The, the people in the district, they're hurting. And so we need someone to start adding value. Um, I guess Maxine Waters used to be good for Los Angeles back in the days, but now she's not even good for America. And so uh, it's definitely time for it. Why politics? You're a military guy. Thank you for serving our country. Uh -huh. But why politics? Why, beat your, why put yourself in that situation? <laughs> I mean, it must have been easier in the Navy. You know what? It's not worse than being in Iraq. But I spent my whole adult life in, uh, in a military service to this country. So that's all I know. And so the next step from military is politics. And so, you know, I, I spent my adult life protecting and serving this country. Now it's time to come home and protect and serve the people of my district. So what are you looking to do? What's your, what's your platform? What, what are you looking to get accomplished? So, uh, so what I want to do are things that I'm, that I'm already doing, which is uh, education, right? We need better education for our students. And uh, we need to bring quality jobs and rebuild the infrastructure to support the expansion of jobs and housing in the district. And uh, our, our police department also need more funding, more resources, so they can protect our communities better. And so... What I'm doing currently is I'm working with NASA to bring NASA into our schools. I am working to bring an um, entrepreneurship curriculum to the schools. We are working with different organizations to bring resources to small businesses in our district. And, um, and I'm also working with other organizations to get funding for our police departments. So those are my goals. So what can we do about the homelessness? That's a, that's a big deal out in California. I had it Scott is. Pressler on earlier uh -huh. talking about the cleanups and what, what. What can you do to help L.A. out here, especially with the homelessness, San Francisco? I yeah. mean, they're literally defecating in the streets. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so what we need to do is we need to bring quality jobs. Obviously, you know, the cost of living in Los Angeles and California, period, is ridiculous. Yeah. So we need Six, to bring... Six dollar gas, I think, today I saw. Was On it? Drudge, I think it finally surpassed six dollars a gallon yeah. in L.A. Yeah, they did an extended gas tax, which is ridiculous, on top of the two gas taxes that we already have. Um, but, I, I mean, prices are nothing if people can afford it. Right. And right now, people cannot afford anything. So we need those quality jobs and we have to 100% get rid of all of the ridiculous taxes and we have to stop giving social programs free to illegal immigrants. Yeah, I think if we can accomplish those small goals, then we can, we can conquer homelessness, the majority of homelessness in, in our state. Well, Joe, you talked about it too. You're looking at right now the illegal immigration, mm -hmm. illegal aliens. California is probably the worst state the in, worst. in the nation for it. You don't it. get worse than that. No, and that's the sad part. How do you fix that? Well, just we have to build a wall. <laughs> <laughs> there it is. Wall. See, I, I threw that pitch for you. It was an easy <laughs> hit right there, but you're right, the wall. But go a ahead. Aside from that, California is a sanctuary state. Right. And that, that goes against the Constitution. We have to get California back in line with the federal Constitution. It should not be a sanctuary state because what happens is you give, you make it okay for uh, illegal immigrants to break the law while we punish American citizens for breaking laws. Right. You know, and so we, we have to make it so if you're going to come to California, if you're going to come to America, do it the right way, get your citizenship, and then become a productive taxpaying citizen of the United States. Well, no, and I have to tell you, Joe, California is a beautiful state. It used to be. It, it still is. I mean, it's a beautiful state. You mm -hmm. just got a bunch of Democrats up there <laughs> that have, are trying to ruin it. it it's the sad yeah. part about it here. So I wish you luck. But here's, here's the, really, the, the major question. How do people help you? Go to my website, JoeCollinsForCongress.com, donate, send me a letter of endorsement, come out, volunteer, help us with the fight. Also, we need young people standing up and running for office. You know, that's not educated young people, not just any young people. Let me rephrase that. We need educated <laughs> conservatives standing up and running for office. We don't need any more AOCs or Ilhan Omars uh, running for any more office. The radical, free, you know, all of that stuff, socialism. We don't need that. We need conservatives. We need people who respect our Constitution. We need people who respect others' individuality standing up and running for office and taking, uh, taking control of our country. Well, Joe Collins, I wish you the best of luck. Thank you for your service, sir. We'll throw Thank it back you. to you, Dave and Amanda. Thank you. We're live here out at Trump Doral for the American Priorities Conference.
And again, that is Joe Collins, U.S. Navy veteran, running against Maxine Waters in California's 43rd District. So everybody, please support him. Go to JoeCollinsForCongress.com. Throw money at him and throw money at Eric Early, who's running against Adam Schiff. we got to get these Democrats out of office because... This phrase has never rang more true to me than it does when it comes to House Democrats specifically. Winners focus on winning and losers focus on winners.